So now let's do an exercise. We will create the Livingston Fjord theme. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned the following things. First, we will have installed Visual Studio Code and added code snippets. Then we'll have learned how to use the NPM theme generator to create a new theme, including setting up some initial theme variables, as well as modifying the HTML source and adding on footer code. Finally, we'll know how to deploy the initial base theme. So these are the steps that we'll be taking in the following exercise. First, we'll install Visual Studio Code. Then we'll create a global snippets file in Visual Studio Code, and then add the snippet content within that. We'll also generate the base theme, add the gulp scripts to package.json, as well as deploying the base theme to our library instance. We'll then add directory structures to the source folder, and as an optional step, we can run gulp watch. We'll set variables to start, as well as modifying the theme templates, as well as the header. We'll add the content section, and we'll keep the footer code distinct from the rest. We'll add code to the footer.ftl file, and then we'll add a sign-in link to the footer, as well as the footer navigation, and then we'll deploy the theme to see the HTML changes. After this exercise, there's a bonus exercise that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this is to customize the theme templates and deploy to see your new changes. But with that, let's get into the exercise. So we're going to get started with this exercise by downloading Visual Studio Code. You'll go to the website code.visualstudio.com. And then if you're on a Windows device, you can click the download for Windows. Depending on your operating system, you can also click the drop down and select the different versions to match your operating system. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I won't have to go through this, but you'll just follow the installer through the steps. So we'll go into the next step after this. You can pause the video if you're still installing. But then after we install it, we're going to open up Visual Studio Code, which I will pull up right here. Here, we're going to go to the user snippets menu. So if you're on Windows, you'll go to File, Preferences, and then User Snippets. And then if you're on OS X, you'll go to the gear icon and there will be a user snippets selection. So from here, we'll click on the new global snippets file. And then it will ask for a file name and we'll type in LFR hyphen front hyphen end. And you'll see me type it right now. And then we'll hit enter. And then it will create this LFR front end dot code snippets file. And then we'll save this. So now we're going to add the snippet content. And so we'll open up the LFR front end snippets.json in your model exercise folder. And I will open it up right here. And I will select, we'll select all of this right here and replace this in the front end code snippets file. So I'll select all of it, copy it, and then we'll go back to the code snippets file we just created and we'll select all of it and we'll paste it in and this will replace all of the code in here. And then we'll save this file. Now we're going to start up our LifeRay Tomcat bundle. You'll navigate to where your LifeRay is stored. So on Windows, we stored it in our C drive under the LifeRay directory. If you're on Mac or Linux, you probably stored this in your user home directory, so you'll find it there. You'll go in there, open up bundles, your LifeRay folder, a Timecat, and then the bin directory. And then you'll start the LifeRay server with the following command, dot slash Catalina dot if you're on Windows, then you will use .bat. If you are on Mac or Linux, you'll do .sh, and then run, and then hit enter, and then this will start up LifeRay in a couple of moments. So while we wait for our LifeRay instance to start up, we will go ahead and generate our base theme. So we'll navigate to our LifeRay folder. If you're on Windows, you might have to open up a new terminal window or a terminal instance. Uh, and you'll navigate to the C drive. If you're on Linux or Mac, you will have to probably find this in your user home directory and you'll go to the LifeRay directory within here. And we'll run the following command, yo LifeRay theme, and this will start up our theme generator. To call our theme, we'll call it the Livingston Fjord theme. You can type that in. It'll prompt us for a theme ID and it gives us a default one. And so we'll stick with that one by hitting enter. It also prompts us for a version. We're currently on 7.3 and we see that the arrow is on 7.3, so we'll hit enter to select that one. We will like Font Awesome in our theme, so we'll type in Y and hit enter. 
Now it's going to install a few of the required packages for our theme. We'll select local app server when it asks us for deployment strategy. And then it's going to ask us for a path to the app server directory. And so for here, we're going to paste in our directory, which includes the Liferay version and the Tomcat version. So if yours differs at all, you might have to change the numbers. Otherwise, you can use this one and hit enter. And then for the URL to the production or development site, we'll hit enter because the default local host 8080 is what we will be using. So after this, you can give it a couple of moments and this will generate the theme within your Liferay directory. So now we will be deploying the base theme to our Liferay instance. So we're still in the Liferay directory and we will use the CD Livingston Fjord theme command to navigate into this folder. And from here, we'll run the command npm run deploy. And this will make the base theme available in our Liferay instance. So we'll give this a couple of moments, and then we'll open up our browser, localhost 8080. And so I have this right here at localhost 8080. We'll sign in, and I'm going to sign in with my admin user, Josiah Copeland. And from here, we'll open up the site administration panel. We'll go to site builder. And then we'll click pages in the site admin for Livingston Hotels and Resorts. We'll click the configuration menu next to public pages. And this is a gear icon right here. From here, we'll go to the bottom and we'll find change current theme. We'll click on this. And then we'll see that we have the Livingston Fjord theme that we just deployed. We'll choose this one. We'll click save. Now, if we click home within site admin, we'll see our default theme that we just deployed. And now we'll add the directory structure to the source folder. So from the Livingston Fjord theme directory, we'll CD into source. And from here, we'll create the following folders, JS and templates. So I'll use make dir for making a directory, a JS folder, as well as a templates folder. And if we ls, we can see that we now have JS and templates as well. Now we're going to set our variables to start. And so we'll copy the Liferay look and feel XML from the web in folder in your exercises source folder. So I will find it right here. So now we're going to set some variables to start. We're going to copy the Liferay look and feel XML file from our exercise source folder web inf. And then we'll copy this into our source folder web inf from our Liferay directory. And so this will be in your Liferay Livingston Fjord theme. And then you'll find this over here within source web inf. So I'll copy this over and we'll have to replace this file. So if you have a duplicate file name, we'll click replace the file in the destination. We'll also modify the theme templates. And so from the exercise source, we'll go into the templates folder, we'll copy all of these files. And then we'll navigate back up to source and then to templates, we'll paste all of the files in here. And then we'll open up the Visual Studio Code Editor. So I have it opened up over here. And then we'll drop the portal normal FTL file from the source templates over here, portal normal, into the Visual Studio Code Editor right up here. And now you can see that we open up the portal normal FTL. We'll modify the header right here. And we'll find where the comment says insert snippet 01 portal normal header here. We'll find this right here insert snippet 01 portal normal header. And then we'll type in LFR to view the available code snippets. And we'll choose the one that says FTL 01 portal normal header. And this should show full templates path header FTL. We'll also do this for the content section. So we'll highlight 
the portal normal main here comment. We'll type in LFR to view the available snippets. And then we'll choose the portal normal main. And what we're doing right here is we're inserting the snippets uh, that's available within this module. And we're just replacing and rendering this HTML for the template. We also keep the footer code distinct. So we'll scroll down and we'll find the type footer FTL include here. We'll highlight all of this. And then we'll type in the following to include the footer FTL file, and then we'll save the file. So you'll have to follow along on my screen. We'll start with an if, show footer, and then we'll put in a closing tag. And then from here, we'll include with an include tag. Color sign full templates path slash footer dot FTL. And then we'll have to close this tag too. And so with this, we can save our file now. So now we'll add code to the footer FTL file. And so I opened up my templates folder, which we have all of our templates. And we're going to drop the footer FTL file into Visual Studio Code. We'll drop it up here so we can see this. And right here, we're going to highlight all of this, the insert footer FTL. And we're going to type LFR to see what snippets we have available. And we'll choose O3 footer FTL. We'll save this file now. Now we'll add a sign in link to the footer. So we'll go back to our templates folder. And from here, click footer navigation and we'll edit this within our Visual Studio. We'll highlight the comment that says insert snippet 04 footer nav. And then we'll type in LFR to view the available snippets. We'll click the one that says 04. And then we will add the footer navigation. And so we'll highlight this bottom comment that says insert snippet 04, 05 footer nav menu. We'll type in LFR, and then we'll click footer nav menu and save this file. So now with all of our snippets in here, we're going to deploy the theme to see the HTML changes. So we're going to open back up our terminal window right here, but we'll navigate out one and then we'll run the deploy method, so npm run deploy. And then this will deploy our theme to our library instance. And it will take a moment for this to deploy. And so we'll see it within our library instance window. It's currently deploying and it's going to copy. It has stopped over here, stopped Livingston Fjord theme. After the copying, then it will start up again. And right here we have the message started Livingston Fjord theme. And so I already have it deployed, but if you don't currently see this, you can refresh your screen and you'll see that our custom theme has been applied. Mm -hmm.